I'm attempting the impossible. Kim Kardashian and Skims are, I mean, a huge website, huge celebrity, and uh, they're obviously putting a lot of money into this website, but I still think that there are some things that I would fix on skims.com. Starting with the announcement bar. I would say this is like a combo announcement bar slash some sort of trust badge section over all the website. Now, the current announcement bar is a slider that automatically plays and the customer, the user, doesn't have any control over what slide can I I see next there's just a pause button on the very right hand side but that's about it if i saw something that i actually wanted to see and i wanted maybe more information on i can't just slide through them so my suggestion for announcement bars and i tell this to everybody just have a single static message your customers are not going to stick around long enough to necessarily see all these things scrolling through it's just a too much going on where you're just trying to you know voice out all these things at the same time and nothing is really sticking my suggestion for announcement bar is literally use it for that one announcement that you want to, to make and everything else i would definitely have it underneath closer to the footer section and that is a trust badge type section where you can talk about free shipping you can talk about how do you handle returns you can talk about whatever foundation or philanthropy you're doing there's a lot of things that you can do with the trust badge section and they all should indicate and tell and and inform the customer on how you operate as a business, what makes you unique, and just a little bit more general information about the business, right? It should be something where if I come here for the very first time and I'm brand new, this trust batch section towards the footer should at least give me a little bit of a glimpse of, of those things, right? Who you are, what makes you unique, and how you operate as a business. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this this the whole video is, is very hard to put together because Skims, like I said, they're putting a lot of money into this website and they're doing a lot of things that are right. So I will also call out certain things that impressed me or I think that it's actually really well done. So it's not just all gonna be negative, right? But these are things that I would definitely fix on the Skims site. Okay, now let's jump into the product page. I may I may jump around here a little bit, but product page to me is one of the most important pages on a website. And I, at first glance, is the, and that's the, the hard part, is that at first glance, this product page looks really, really good. But then you start to notice little details, right? And little things that are happening. And one of those things is this right here. When you change color on your actual product, the button changes, the logo changes. So everything changes to match that color, which it's like, it's a cool feature. Like totally, you don't necessarily need that. But I think what makes it bad is whenever a product, which a lot of the products have these sort of nude type, almost white color, and it makes the add to bag button almost non-existent, right? If you were to look at this and say like, okay, where's my add to cart button? It's, it's very, it's not as prominent, right? As if I was on the Onyx colorway where the add to bag button actually stands out from the rest of the page. So again, my suggestion, if you wanted to make it look cool, right? And still change some colors, you can still, you know, change the logo, maybe change the announcement bar colorway, but the that add to bag button to me, again, it needs to be a good prominent color that really stands out from the rest. Again, it's, a, it's an okay feature, but mm, not the best, not my favorite. Something else that I've, I've observed here, the announcement bar actually has the, the that free shipping on domestic orders over 75. My suggestion always, I always say, you wanna add it somewhere near that add to bag button. I think that, that, that part, that information, that little sentence of free shipping over 75 to me is super important and something that I would add somewhere as a feature type of text right underneath that add to back button. And speaking of shipping and returns, I, I enjoy and thoroughly appreciate that you have a drop down here with that information, right? That you had that sentence right there, the free shipping over 75, but then that's where it kind of stops. And then it says like, we allow, you know, allow one or two business days. But then from that, right? Like the customer probably also wants to know, like if I don't reach the 75, like how does shipping actually work, right? Is it a flat rate? Is it a calculated rate? It's like, even if it's kind of giving me some estimates, right? Giving a little bit, just a little bit more information on how shipping works would definitely be beneficial. Also, even what carriers you use, right? I may prefer FedEx over UPS or USPS, you know, whatever carriers you actually use, 
and if it's all of them, then just include all of them. But just a little bit more information on that would definitely be beneficial. Now let's talk about product imagery here. Something that I truly appreciate, let's go with a, a nice little positive here for skims, is the additional sizes. I actually saw this on Allo Yoga a while ago, and I was very impressed on the fact that they actually showed different model sizes for not all the products, but their best sellers. And that's exactly what skims is doing here on some of their best sellers. They're actually showcasing their product in different model sizes. So it actually makes a lot of sense, right? You can click on the button there and then from extra small all the way up to 4X and in between large, you can actually see how the product fits depending on the size and the size of the model. They also give you the details of the model right underneath the, the image. So to me, this is next level. This is great. This is truly something that I would definitely want to have on my site, especially if I have sizes like that from double X small all the way to four or five X, it's gonna be really hard for the customer to really see themselves on that product if you're only showcasing one model wearing, let's say a medium or a large, right? Sticking somewhere in between is good, but it's gonna be a wide range of sizes. Then doing something like this is, is definitely a next level and something I would wanna have. So kudos to them. Now, something else here on the product page, to me, something that threw me off was like this picture. At first, I thought that something was not loading right on my site. And it's really hard to tell what this is, but if you zoom in and look really closely, you can kinda, you, you see the, the detail of the actual product. So they're trying to show you the material of, of this particular product, but it's about the fabric, right? The fabric of, of the product, which is, it's okay. To me, it was more confusing than than it's it's good. I don't know that I need to see a super zoomed in version of the actual fabric and then not provide any context whatsoever right from the get-go. I have to like then click a button to then learn about the fabric. I would, I would probably even have this just highlighted right within here if that's the case. But I will talk about that. I will talk about fabric. So let's talk about that next. But for right now, instead of having a zoomed in image of this, what I would probably have here on the product page would be a four or five second video of the model just showcasing and wearing the item. That will be way more helpful than this image that's just zoomed in for whatever reason. But that being said, I do think that talking about the fabric is important, especially skims kind of started as a, you know, it, they're, they're sort of, I would think like fabric first and then sort of like item next, right? So they do take a lot of consideration into the fabrics that they use and rightfully so. And they, you know, they have a whole page dedicated to all their fabrics and just digging deeper into what makes them unique and what type of products use those types of, of fabrics. Now, what I would probably do, and they have a very simple just fit and fabric here where they talk about the fabric a little bit, but to me, I would definitely expand more on this on the actual product page and have a dedicated full width section that talks about the types of fabric that we're using on this particular product. This can be done very easily with meta objects and meta fields where that section can be dynamic, where it changes depending on the fabric that, it, that the customer selects on, on that particular product. And again, to me, it's important enough where I would have it as a an expanded section right here within the product page. Something else that I appreciate about the product page is they actually break down the sort of, you may also like or related products into three different categories, which not a lot of people are doing. And I thoroughly enjoy this. So they have number one, it's gonna be similar styles. So depending on the cut of the product that you selected, they're gonna show you similar styles to it. They're also gonna show you more of that particular colorway and then more from that actual collection. So if you're on, you know, the, I don't know, 100% cotton collection, then they're gonna show you more products on that cotton collection. Actually, they have more than this three. They have the, we think that you will like these. So these may be trending or maybe new arrival type products and that's about it. So it looks like it's just a lot of different products, but it just makes absolute sense, right? Into what they're actually sharing here. Cause you may have picked this product based off of the color. So hey, let's show them more products on this actual colorway, or let's show them more products similar to this cut of shirt right here. So anyways, to me, that was actually very, very genius. The only thing that I would probably do on this page is maybe that last one that you, we think you'd like, I would probably move that to the very bottom. To me, the product page at the very bottom, it should end on actual products or for them to actually explore something else, right? After those collections, it just goes straight into the reviews, which is amazing, but then there's nothing else. To me, again, the product page should end 
on some actual products, some actual highlighting some actual products right here towards the bottom of the page. Hey, if you're liking this content so far, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel where we release two videos every week, no matter what. Now, I know that I sort of skipped from the homepage all the way to the product page, but to be honest, like I was trying to look at the collection page and trying to think really hard on like, what would I add here to the collection page to actually make it better? But everything that I was thinking of, they actually do. And it's not on every single collection. Like there's certain collections, for example, like this bestseller is like, I was thinking, well, maybe they need to add more keywords for SEO purposes, right? And we usually recommend this and we recommend this on the actual bottom of the page. Now this bestsellers collection doesn't have that, but there are some other collections where they actually do do that. They, they have a full paragraph down here, which adds just more keywords to the site overall, especially the collection page. They're using color swatches that have filters. Again, the product breakdown overall here on the collection page, I think it's it's great. There's really not nothing that I would I would say that's that can be improved within here. I guess maybe one little thing, if they wanted to actually highlight some reviews, you know, within within the product page, that could be beneficial or use sort of like these blank sections, right? Because all the collection pages are still categorized into just different sub collections, which I think is great, you know, for, for the products to be organized in this way. This would be the exact same thing that I would see right when I walk into an actual physical store, I would expect certain products to be organized in a way where it makes it easier for me to see and explore. So yeah, using these blank spaces to your advantage and either highlighting things like, you know, messages that you want to highlight, like the new arrivals or signing up for the email newsletter, or even highlighting some actual reviews would definitely be something that, that you could do within here, or even highlighting some, some other collections it could be something really smart. And it's, you're just using some of the blank spaces, right? That you see within this collection page. Now, another thing that I was a little bit disappointed on was their about page. I would think a company the size of Skims would have just a little bit more information on their actual about page, right? Whereas here, I mean, they have a picture of Kim, which is awesome, right? It's great but they don't talk about her or what the why behind the company or anything like that, which kind of leaves a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth just because there's not much to it, right? There's, it just, it just talks about that, you know, they created this, just this new generation of, of underwear and loungewear and shapewear, but there's no real emotion or, or true motive right behind the brand, which I'm hoping there is, or, you know, some kind of philanthropy or how you give it back or how are you making this, you know, better for people they talk about the fact that you do include sizes from double x to four x like all those things are good selling points you know for the brand and things that i would definitely want to include here on this about page this about page to me is lacking i would give it an f maybe a d no f i would give it an f no matter what f with the amount of products that they have here on the site i'm glad that they're actually having a wish list functionality and the wish list actually works pretty seamlessly like you literally just click on the heart and it automatically adds it you don't have to create an account or anything like that it just it just works and it's beautiful so wish list to me huge plus keep doing that hey, if you already have a shopify store and you are maybe lacking a little bit of on conversions maybe you don't think the website looks the way that it should then i think the website vip day is the solution for you where we actually design your store for high conversions in a single day if you're interested in that check the link in the description below okay i'll say this the cart looks great i think this is a, a good looking cart again depending on the color that you choose for the product that's the color that you get for the checkout button which i think is just atrocious to not do that just make sure that your checkout button is a good prominent color that really stands out this good contrast against the background everything else about the cart looks amazing you have the products you have add a gift back for five dollars you see trending products you see your recently viewed you even see our policies and a nice little breakdown right underneath here which again i think this is amazing again going back to the shipping thing i would definitely add more information on the shipping but besides that having the policies here within the cart genius I've never seen this before. Genius. I love it. On to the checkout page. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure Skims is on Shopify Plus, which is the highest tier of Shopify. And I don't know why. I really don't know why. But they're still on that three-step checkout process. Something that Shopify has released and fixed. I mean, it's been months now at this point. They switched to a one-page checkout where the customer just fills in all their information right within there. Again, there may be something with maybe some apps or something in the back end where it wasn't working right and maybe they tested it. And didn't. But to me, it makes no sense for you to be on a three page checkout. It creates more friction. It's more frustrating for the customers. And by all means, I would figure out a way to have that one page checkout right within here where the customer again just fills out all the information 
in one place. Just clicks one button to actually purchase. I'm pretty sure majority of you that are watching right now actually have the one page to check out implemented because Shopify basically added for every single person and uh, it just works beautifully. And there's no need for being on this three page checkout. Again, there may be some things that we don't know. You know, there's, there's maybe some red tape and things to go through, maybe some apps that are not working correctly. But yeah, this would be, to me, this would be a priority on skims.com be one of the first things that I would do after watching this video. Kim, you can call us. We're gonna fix that for you. Now, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please let me know in the comments below because I actually thoroughly enjoyed finding things that I would fix about a big website like skimps.com. So if you have any other ideas on some websites that you want me to break down and see what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong and what I would fix, please leave them in the comments below. Now, if you're interested in what is that next step for you, right? Maybe you watched this video, highlighted some things, maybe there's some few golden eggs in between there. I would highly suggest to look at this video next, which is best practices on your site that you want to do. See you there.